forum at wcbemerald.com. We're going to be live blogging, posting chip counts, updating uh, your stacks, putting pictures up, doing all that good stuff. If you haven't seen the site yet, you should. All of this stuff from WSB Africa in the last three years is up there. And of course, all this stuff will be here for as long as we on the site, which hopefully is forever, to be able to go back and reference your final take and see how good or bad you played later on. So with that said, let's get this thing started in seat number one with a check count of 139,000. Let's give a nice warm round of applause for Manesh Isha. Now this is Manesh's second final table this year at this WSOP Africa. He's a financial advisor. He's 38. He has two children. He's single if any ladies out there are looking for a nice single poker player. He's made a few final tables but no wins yet. He's been playing since 2010. He likes Danny Negrano, he's a heck of a player, but he'd love to cover WSOP Las Vegas, and I think I'm going to see him there this year, and I hope I do. Ladies and gentlemen, Manesh Kisha. In seat number two, with a chip count of 344,500, the Miami Heat, the one, the only, Michael, the grinder, Ms. Rocky. This guy has won three gold bracelets at his time, two of which were in the $50,000 Poker Players Championship, which is best known as the all-around player in poker. He won it two out of three years in a row, and he also won the inaugural Mixed Max event that we launched at World Series of Poker Europe the year before last. He's uh, won millions upon millions of dollars playing poker. Uh, he's not afraid of anybody, and when I usually ask him, or usually tell him good luck, he usually tells me they're going to need it. So the 344500 give it up for the grinding. Right. Starting our final table with seat number three with a chip count of 465000 from Cape Town. Give it up for Eric Brand. Now Eric has made quite a few final tables as well. You, you made one this year too, right? You made one this year. All right, and he's 26 years old. He's a student. He is not married. He plays a ton of local tournaments. He uh, started playing in 2007. He's self-taught as well as uh, what he's learned from his friends. Uh, he loves Chinese poker. Maybe he likes a little open face. That guy next to you might play a little bit after this is over. He admires Phil Galfond and how well he plays. And uh, his superstitions are catching a heart on the river. So that might be a little lucky for him. He likes online computer games, and uh, he likes the English Premier League. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Eric Brand. And seat number four with a chip count of 545,500. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Solomon. Now, resident to Joe Berg, Jared uh, is quite a fantastic professional poker player. He also won a ring earlier this year. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's because he's a personal trainer, keeps himself in good shape, but he's been awful sharp this tournament. He's playing very well. He's 26 years old. He's in a relationship. He has one WSOP gold ring. He's been playing since 2006. He learned how to play around friends. He admires Phil Ivy, and he loves to play poker tourneys. He loves Liverpool. He loves watching sports, playing golf, and soccer. That's quite a, quite a little resume there. Ladies and gentlemen, one more nice round of applause for Jared Solomon. All right, in seat number four, we're seat number five with a chip count of 158,000. A nice warm round of applause for Carl Mybergal. I think I butchered his name. Say that for me. Mybergal. I think he butchered it too. That one was up. My turn. My turn. That's it. All right, we've got his last name down. So I'm going to call him Carl, because I'm a southern guy from Texas who doesn't pronounce names very good sometimes. He's 51. He's single. He has two children. His poker accomplishments include winning a tournament at the Grand West. He's been playing poker since 2009. He loves to play Hold'em. He's not superstitious. And he'd love to play in the WSOP main event one day. Ladies and gentlemen, one, time, one more time for Carl. You got it. In seat number six, coming into the final table with a chip count of 532,000. Also from Johannesburg, ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Morgan. 
Now, King is 44. He's self-employed and single. He, he has quite a few final tables. He's won three tournaments. He's been playing poker since 2008. And he learned how to play poker watching guys playing cash games. Now, he likes standing the ground in terms of being a poker player. His favorite poker game is Hold'em. He is not superstitious, and he'd love to win the WSOP in Las Vegas. He also loves to watch soccer. He's a heck of a nice guy, too. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Kenny Morgan. In seat number seven, with a chip count of 726,500, and our current chip leader, ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Burrow, a.k.a. Farino. Is that right? Farino. So Farino, he's an employee at a casino, probably not after he wins this tournament. He's 35, he has a girlfriend. His poker accomplishments include in WSOP 2008, a 93rd place, and in WSOP is at 2004, 112th place. And then it looks like there were some other finishes, uh, a third, a third place, and it looks like he's been playing since 2003. He's been playing around his friends. That's how he learned. He likes Phil Ivy. His favorite poker game is Omaha. I'm sure the brand would like to play you some heads up. He has some superstitions sometimes, and he'd love to win a WSOP or WPT uh, title. He loves living in South Africa and Cape Town. He is our chip leader. We're going to see what this guy can do here today. So let's have one more nice round of applause for Marcus Burrow. All right, starting our final table in seat number eight. No stranger to this final table with 342,000. Give it up for Warren Zaki. Now, Warren Zaki, he's a manager by occupation. He's 46 with three children. He's also the winner of the first WSOP Africa main event that was held here back in 2010. He's played four WSOP events. He's cashed in, looks like, what, four? Oh, one out of the four. And uh, he has several other caches here. There's just too many to list from Grand West and Royal, Swaziland and Gold Reef and what is that, 22 Vegas caches. I don't know, this guy's all over the place. He started playing poker in 208. And you're an old guy. You're, you're old, man. I'm guessing 2008. But I guess you could be 1,800 years old. I mean, it is possible, right? He learned how to play poker watching TV. And uh, Lagan. Lagan is his favorite poker player. Do I know Lagan? Ah, this guy here. Now, you must play pretty well. You can get around. Uh, he loves to play Holden. He has no superstitions. And his poker ambition is to continue playing for fun. Ladies and gentlemen, more nice round of applause for Mr. Warren Zaki. And finally, rounding out our final table in seat number nine. Also, not a stranger to a final table. Is that 278 or 200? 228,000. Give it up for Doc Kinsel, aka Kanish. Now, Kanish, he's 48. He's married to two children. He's made many final tables. He has several caches. He finished second in the high roller last year. He's been playing since 2005. Uh, he learned how to play reading books, watching, and playing. He admires Phil Ivy. He loves to play Hold'em. He's not superstitious. And he loves to have fun. And he'd love to win the main event one day. So, ladies and gentlemen, and what a nice guy he is, too. He came out to Las Vegas and just loved this guy to death. Give it up one more time for Doc Kenzo. All right, guys. We're going to resume play with the button in seat number one. Our antes are 1,000, our blinds are 4,000, 8,000. There are 34 minutes, 26 seconds remaining. I wish each of you gentlemen the best of luck at this time. Please shuffle up and be. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that my boy Blue? You got my boy Blue on your shirt. That's my boy Blue. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you said the least over here yet. Okay, so then uh, 
He had he had three forty four five on the last three forty four and there's seventy five so that's two seventy five and he won the last ten so I'm guessing it's probably closer to about three. He's got a hundred hundred forty hundred eighty two two ten two seventy about two seventy about two seventy.
Thank you. 
Not dead, but he's gonna have to play it face up. It's not gonna get replaced. No, wait, wait, wait. The dealer exposed? Uh, kind of like, kind of like. Okay, so wait a minute. So wait a minute. He should get a new car for sure. Yeah, he gets a new car for sure because there hasn't been substantial action yet. The car needs to be replaced. So if he had the ace of spades, it's gonna come up. It will become the burn card and we'll go to the place. That'll become the burn card and we'll place it back. Now, had there been action all the way around and you've seen it? Thank you. 
Warren's going to make a call. Make sure you put the hands on both sides of the chair. Sure oh, this looks like a coin flip. <coughs> Jack of Spades, Jack of Diamonds versus Ace of Hearts, King of Spades. Jack's the best hand right now. I learned the king proposition. Warren trying to catch an ace or a king. And that's trying to double up. Let's take a look at the clock. Flop is a nine of spades, four of hearts, ten of clubs. Two jacks is still good. One is for ace or king. Seven on the turn, which is no help. Still six outs. Let's see the third card. The third card is a ten. Jacks are good. Jacks and tens. Ten of spades on the room. Yeah. 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 Oxygen. 
Spades, three of clubs. Warren has Jack of Clubs, seven of clubs. Carl has him covered, and it looks like Warren's going to need the cash to stay alive in this event. Let's see the flop, please. Flop is tray of clubs, deuce of clubs, four of diamonds. Warren's flop a flush drop. Let us sweat it. We want some suspense. We want to see what's coming. We want to count some outs. All right. All right, now Queens are the best hand. Warren looking for a club. Or maybe some running straight cards. Let's see the jump card. The draw is a six. Well, we can catch a five. We can catch a club. A five or a club. Let's take a look at the river card. The river was a seven. That means the next pair of sevens. Queens are good. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice one round of applause for a ninth place finisher, Mr. Warren Zachary. So, Warren Zach is our ninth place.
Alright, taking a look at the hands, we have 28 clubs for Grinder, Ace of Diamonds, and Nine State for Grand. Eric's calling for his turn at life, and he's going to need to catch or draw a bunch of cards that will just be blanks for Grinder. Let's see the clock next. Lock 
is just of clubs, ace of clubs, and six of hearts. Now this is kind of a, this is a sweat flop here because Eric swapped the best hand with a pair of aces. Ryder swapped the flush draw with queen and clubs. And uh, Ryder's looking for a club or he's going to have to make at least two pair in order to win this pot. Let's take a look at the turn card. Turn card was a jack club. He's made a flush and Eric's drawing dead. We'll see the river card. Which is the nine of diamonds on the river. Two pair is not good. Grinder wins with a flush. Ladies and gentlemen, nice one of applause for eight points finisher, Mr. Eric Rand. Eric Rand wins with a flush. <laughs> Roxanne, there she is.
Okay, but he had some played out. He went on it. I understand. So, so he had his pocket. His hand has to be shown. It was an all-in call. So that's that's the, 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 the that's a turn. I can't let you dump chips to him, basically. Show this to this one and then he checks No, no. Not that, that's a key. Yeah, Jeff. Okay. Right, that's what I need to say. Leave them up here. Here so we can capture them. Because I need to report them. You got to come and report them. Just All right. Just That's what I need. So four deuces. Four deuces over All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice little round of applause for the match. Thank you. 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 And we'll take home Thank you. 
Kenny and Marcus. We have Jack of Diamonds, eight diamonds versus nine eight of clubs. Flop of Deuce of Diamonds, eight spades, nine of spades. And one player, or Kenny, flops a pair of eights. Marcus has nines and eights. They both flop two of a pair. The turn card came to six of diamonds. Marcus now has picked up the diamond flush draw. So right now, I'm sorry, Kenny flopped the Kenny with his pair of eights has now picked up a diamond flush draw. Two pairs still good over here for Marcus. Marcus has the covering shift for his real plus. Let's see. We got it. Right. Kenny, hurt. Kenny has the chip lead in the, going into this all in right here. So Marcus is looking to double up here. Kenny's looking to catch a diamond, which will eliminate Marcus and Marcus will become our sixth place finisher. Let's take a look at the river card. The river card was a four, nines, and eights hold up. And Marcus is going to win this pot. Start for today. Please start making your seats up there at tables 12 and 19. If you do a table later, you're on table 12. Tables 12 and 19. 
Okay, 14 is 19, 8 is 12. 8 is 12, 14 is 19. Players make way to your seats for the 500 restart. Just going to take place here in just a few minutes. Cars will be in the air probably at 2 p.m. for a pair of fives. Kenny has King of Diamonds, Ten of Clubs. He's still drawing live for a King or a Ten. Wishing the best of luck. Let's see the River Club teams. River with a deuce of diamonds. Ryder makes a five by screen a wheel. It's on a nice one of blocks for Mr. Kenny Morgan, our sixth place finisher. Come on, give it up for Kenny, guys. I'm 
All right, take a look at these hands. We got an all in between Nish and Kump and Marcus. Marcus has pocket jacks, which is the best hand jack of hearts, jack of diamonds. Nish is all in for his turn at live with eight of diamonds, eight of hearts. Definitely needs an eight. No man, sir. Come on, good place, finish up, or we need to catch something else. So let's make a hand, Nish. Let's see the block. This is no man. This is no man. Five of clubs, jack of diamonds, ace of clubs. <laughs> right now, three jacks is the best hand for Marcus. Run it, run it. Eight. Let's stay live. Turn card, please. Eight. Turn card with a five. Keep going. River card. Five of hearts and then nine of diamonds. Ladies and gentlemen, nice one of applause for Kanish after our fifth place finisher. Got some money for you too. Twenty-three thousand bucks.
Pocket Kings, King of Diamonds, King of Clubs, Jared shows Pocket Jack, Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Hearts. Grinder has the best hand, Grinder has Jared covered. And uh, looks like a US has covered, right? You got about 5, 9, and 60. It's real close. We're going to count the chips down, but right now you have the best hand. King of Diamonds, King of Clubs versus Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Hearts. Best of luck to both of you guys. Let's see the clock. Lop is five of clubs, six of spades, trade of hearts. Jared right now looking for a jack of the turn of river or a run of straight cards to tie. Let's see the turn card. Turn cards are ten of clubs, which is going on for Jared. He's drawing a deck to two jacks left in the deck. Let's see the river card, please. The river was a tray. Kings and trays is the best hand. We're going to count down real quick before we announce anything. Yeah. 
Ryder has it covered. That means, ladies and gentlemen, finishing in the fourth place in high number 12 is Jerry Solomon. King of Spades. Both players have blocked the king, but Ace King is the best hand right now. Charles trying to double up. Marcus is looking for a 10. Let's see the turn card. Turn card was an 8. It's no up. Still looking for a 10. Let's see the turn card. The turn card is the end. Ace King is trying to hit. Charles going to double up. One good sign.
guys that want to play in the high roller, we're going to start it, so anybody that hasn't signed up to do so, we get four or five guys to sit down and we'll get the thing built, I think we can get 15, 20 players, um, so everybody walking around that wants to play in the high roller, just going to get signed up, take a seat over there on table five, we'll put the cards in the air, and it'll fill up, so we will run it. I just need you guys to go ahead and sign up and head over to table number five. Thank you. 
with our hearts. Well, there's ace of hearts, jack of hearts, eight of hearts. Both players have a heart, but Mike has a bigger heart with ten of hearts. Looking for a four. And a heart came on a turn. Marcus is drawing dead. We'll see the river card. The nine of hearts or the seven of hearts. So the ten of hearts is going to play. A flush for a straight flush. Zach High straight flush. That means Marcus Bird is going to become our third place finisher. Nice round of applause for Marcus, please. Hi. Thank you. 